Welcome everybody. This is a quick tutorial on setting audio volume recording levels. I'm using Audacity on Mac right now. I am also running my mic pre is a Avalon mic pre with a little bit of compression on it, just so you know. All right, so I'm going to record a baseline track. This will be our uh, ideal volume level. Hey everyone, this is Kalani. I'm recording this track at about peaking at around minus 10 dB, generally between minus 18 and minus 12 dB most of the time. Okay, and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go on and record another track right now at a higher volume. Hey everybody, this is Kalani. I'm recording this at a higher volume. Uh, sometimes it might even go over zero, which is gonna create a little bit of noise on my track. All right, and I was pushing the volume there on purpose. Let's listen to this. Hey everybody, this is Kalani. I'm recording this at a higher volume. Uh, sometimes it might even go over zero, which is going to create a little bit of noise on my track. So I've got a tool, a view tool selected up here called show clipping. And that's why we're seeing these red lines. Now that wasn't too bad. This is not a grossly overmodulated track. However, we'll see that when I want to apply compression to it later, I might run into some problems. But let's move on. I'm going to record at a very low volume right now. Hello, everybody. This is Kalani recording my low volume track. I'm peaking at about minus 20 for this one. Not too bad and no noise. So when I say no noise, I mean no digital distortion noise, but let's look at what happens now when I apply the compressor and I'm going to have to dig down a little bit to grab this sound to, to bring up the volume. So now I've raised the volume and let's see where it's ending up over here. I want to be around minus between minus six and minus three. Hello, everybody. This is Kalani recording my low volume track. I'm peaking at about minus 20 for this one. Not too bad and no noise. Well, there wasn't much noise until I raised the overall volume. And if you're listening on some good speakers or headphones, you'll notice that there is a lot of hiss and noise in these spaces. I've also got my window open. I'm trying to actually have a little bit of background noise in here. So this is okay, but it's a little noisy. I'd probably need to apply some sort of noise gate and clean up this track to make it useful. But nevertheless, I mean, the levels are nice and even after compression. Um, but let's go over to this one now, our second one, and see what happens if we apply a compressor. Because right now you see there's a lot of difference between all these sound blobs here. So let's apply the compressor and see what happens. Okay, so we've adjusted it, still getting some distortion. And the thing with this distortion is, even if I go in here and lower the volume, so it's no longer clipping technically, these little cutoff points where it's jamming into the edge here, that's still gonna produce some noise. Hey everybody, this is Kalani. I'm recording this at a higher volume. Uh, sometimes it might even go over zero, which is... All right, so still not terrible, 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 but not the greatest. So let's go back to the first track and I'm gonna apply some compression to this one to bring up the overall volume and presence. I'm gonna dig a little deeper and use a ratio of three to one on this. Let's see how I can get this one to sound. Okay, so I've boosted the level. Um, I think this is looking pretty good. Let's give it a listen. 
Hey everyone, this is Kalani. I'm recording this track at about peaking at around minus 10 dB, generally between minus 18 and minus 12 dB most of the time. And so this sounds pretty good. This could be my final output level. My noise floor is low because my original signal to noise ratio was high. So yes, you can get away with recording, even sometimes having some clipping. This one had a little bit. Um, you certainly wouldn't, you don't want any clipping, but you can get away with a little, but you don't want any. So you can go down here and record at a low volume, but then you're going to have to really pump up that volume later, which is also going to raise your noise level in the background. So ideally recording somewhere in the minus uh, 18, minus 20, maybe minus 18 to minus nine or minus 20 to minus 12. If you have good digital recording equipment, you can really boost the volume later and have a lot of output without a lot of noise. The noisier your gear, the basically the higher towards that zero mark you're gonna wanna reach when you're capturing your audio, but then you run a risk of clipping. And I think that recordings made in this kind of three quarters area three quarters up the scale are going to sound better anyway, because you're not really pushing your gear that hard. Um, this first example is going to have a little bit smoother sound. It's going to be more forgiving. It's going to be more editable. All right. I hope this helps you guys. Those are some of the best practices that I can offer you for recording your audio and sounding your best.